We have not seen what's inside the box yet, have we? Nope. Nope. But we have seen the video of it. Yes, we have. We've seen the video. I actually purchased this on a website called AliExpress. Uh, there was a limited run of articulating rock trucks, uh, and it was actually the least expensive articulating dump truck I've ever found for all metal and radio control. Now, it was about uh, $3,000 U.S., I know everybody could buy anything else for that kind of money, but we love our RCs, don't we? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> so I got this. Uh, it arrived yesterday. This is for YouTube Gold uh, for our upcoming season because we need a proper rock truck. Are you going to be uh, running the other dump truck this year, the Tonka? Yes, I am. The conversion dump truck over here? That's it, what I'm going to run. That's right. This is the one we're going to get you to be running. So with our stuff over here, we're going to open up the crate and see what's inside. But you asked me, Morris, how long this crate was, and I'm going to let you know that it's just over 3 feet or 40 inches long. Next time, could I oh. try that? Yeah, you can, actually. Oh, I'm getting closer there, bud. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes! You ready? Yes. Ho, ho, ho. I don't understand anything on this. It says express envelope. This must be the shipping or the receipt. Volvo stickers! Yeah! You have the stickers for your new dump truck? Yep. That's great. These are the stickers. Yes, I'm super happy with that. Okay, this is it. The big moment, man. Start pulling stuff out. Here's the radio. It's a Fly Sky radio. Oh, there you go. Wow! So the weight of this machine, it's listed at 75 pounds. I know everyone's freaking out about my back right now. The ones that follow the show know I've got a bit of problem with my back, but I can't stop living life because of that reason. Holy beautiful. Oh, the tie's beautiful. Ready in three, two, here, help me. Three, two, one, push. Yeah. Look at that <laughs> The tires are amazing. Very hey, good. <laughs> yeah, small fire extinguisher. So this is a hydraulic oh. um, articulating dump truck. You can see the the um, blocks window. right there, the valve blocks. Do you see the... Yeah, it came with the driver. It also should have a sound kit, and it will have lights. Maybe, maybe it has. Maybe. Maybe the engine holds everything in here because... You want to see something super cool? Yep. Watch this. No, 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 no. That's where the motor is for the pump. The There's battery. See those screws? Those yes. are winches. Yeah, they are not winches, actually. No, I meant, I meant Servos. like those hooks. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, right down here. There is hooks for winches. That's correct. I see the paint is a little bit on the rough side. It looks like it was hand painted in here. It was. Yeah, probably. Hey, a little rough around the edges. But that's okay. That's going to get all scraped and dirty anyway. You guys are all like, for that kind of money, it should come made of diamonds. But no. <laughs> I expect it to be out on the rocks looking good anyway. this could be a dump truck for war. You want to use it in uh, loading wars? Yeah. Maybe we should make this a penalty truck. Hey, they have to back this up now. Would that be hard? It is a very long machine, that's right. The front tires can steal. Uh, well, you're going to see how it uh, steers because articulating means that it bends in the middle. So it's going to be kind of bending. I think it's going to be dirty probably as soon as the springtime comes out, eh? Yes. Yeah. And that Tonka is going to be more dirty. Of course it is. Well, it's a well loved RC, isn't it? I'm going to slide it forward. Heavy. Watch out now, watch your fingers. Well, I was like that. Three, two, one. <laughs> so it's inspection time, hey? Let's have a really good look at what we're seeing. So all the way from the cab. I think these really move. They do. Do you want to swing them out? They're the mirrors. Very nice. It's almost like this was hand done at some points, like how it was made. This is amazing. No wonder he said he was having a limited run. Here, let's flip open that hood. Let's see what's under the hood. Because there we can see the hydraulic block with the servos. And wires. Yeah, the wires for the light kit, I'm assuming. There's the receiver right here. This is to talk to the radio. Mm -hmm. 
This is the motor for the pump, the hydraulic pump, mm -hmm. and these servos open and close the valves. And over here, you can yeah. see a small gauge. Maybe when this thing is done, we can test it around on this floor. You know that's going to happen. It's beautiful. Really big, long hydraulic rams. I haven't seen rams like this before. Um, <laughs> I'm actually shocked. That's about, that's a little bit bigger than on my excavator for the main one. I come around to the back. We're all discovering this for the first time, guys. This is cool that you're doing this with me. How many RCs have we looked at over the years for the first time together? And now my son gets to join in. What do you think? Look at the hook. So this is so you can do towing, right? The other thing you guys are going to be surprised at. It yeah, just fall. another. It's like a wind. It's like it's a, it's a, it's hook. a hook. That's right. The other thing you guys are going to shake your head at possibly is that this is actually not a, uh, a locking differential system. This is all open diffs, which means it is six wheel driven. Um, but with unlocking diffs. Now you're going to say, or unlock diffs. Now you're going to ask me uh, if it can be switched to uh, all locked, and I guess the answer is no. But I still pulled the trigger on this thing. Oh yeah, this is definitely custom done. Wow. I am lucky that I jumped on this when I saw them go online. They're actually all sold out right now. What do you think? Should, Should we put a battery in it? Turn on the lights? I think that's a good idea. Okay, Morris, here is the battery I'm going to use. It is a 5,000 milliamp uh, 3S LiPo, which is 11.1 .1 volts uh, uh, before it is all nicely charged up, and it's from Jen's Ace. I think this is going to be a perfect fit to go in on this platform up here. And it already comes with the XT60 plug uh, inside the battery. We should take it out of the box. What do you think? Cool. Yeah. Open the box, give it a bit of a charge first. Okay, hold the tape or hold the box open for me so Dad can just cut the tape right here, sir. There we are. You want to open that up, young blood? Thank you very much. Nice. So that's for the lipo balance plug, this piece of plastic right here. The soft case lipo. Beautiful. And Brand new. to keep it safe. That's right. That's exactly it. They kind of get cushioned along the way. You know, I'm still running Gen's Ace batteries that I've had for like six years, but uh, this one definitely needed a nice freshie in there. Here's one thing I think is interesting. It actually comes with its own tools. Nothing special about that, um, but special that they actually gave us extra rings um, just in case any of the pistons start to leak. So that's good. Hopefully it's not indicative of a leaking piston, um, but even if it does, then we at least have some sizes of the O-rings uh, that we need. Morris, I think there is hydraulic fluid in this already. Here's the tank back here. This is the overflow tube, or possibly the filler tube, depending. And then the two bottom tubes, they look like they have hydraulic fluid in them. I'm surprised if it was shipped with hydraulic fluid in it, but then again, maybe it's not very much, that's why. Okay, so Fly Sky Radio, both buttons. All switches go up. Good, good. So from what I understand, this uh, um, dial up here is going to start the sound system. The lights are going to be controlled by uh, back and forth movement of this stick. The pump is one of these, but it only comes on like it's a mixed pump, I believe, and then direction will be right here. All right, open up. Get that. Nice. The light fired up right away. Looks like we're going to need to add a magnet here, buddy. Just kind of wants to clap up and down otherwise. You'd think I, that, think, I think it's just supposed to go as a magnet. Yeah, well you, you'd think they would include a magnet on something like that for that kind of price. But I have a feeling if it's handmade or just made on a limited run, that's really what we're paying for here. Okay, man. I don't even know. Here, look at the lights already on. There are ways to control the light. Mirrors out. You got a mirror out on that side. I got a phone open. Oh, here's the horn. Time. Yeah. Toot toot. Yeah. Let's try it down. There. Now let's honk. Now let's honk. That's pretty loud, huh? Okay, let's see the lights here. It's back and forth movement. Yeah, the clicking. There's some lights. 
Nice. What do you think of that? That'll be good for when it's moving around the yard, hey? Look. Yeah, that's why it's all wired in there already. This is going to look so cool out on uh, YouTube Gold, bud. Let's go again. That's the different lights. So there's the blinking lights. Let's see that one. Those are lights off. Okay. And then if I move sideways, this whole truck, I think, you'll hear the pump turn on. You ready? Count me down. Watch if we go. That's counting up. <laughs> yeah. So you remember how to lift that up? Lift that up? I'm assuming, I don't remember anything, of, uh, not from the video, but I remember it may be this one. Let's try. So I'm pushing up right now. The one thing I love about this truck that I saw is look how vertical that gets. What do you think? Yeah, it does that could carry an Autobot? It could be an Autobot itself. That would, does it transform? Yeah, it does not transform, but it transforms imaginations. How about that? So, right? I like that. You can see that Morris and I put some stickers on the truck there just so you guys could have a good look at what they would look like. The Volvo A40G. I love how it comes down. You want to take a picture? That's very, oh, I am taking a picture right now. Look at this. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm just getting out of the way. Oh, thank you. Well, there's a nice photo, I guess, hey? Did you want to be the first person to drive it? Sure. Would you like? I think it's going to be easy. I think you're going to be able to be a great rock truck driver, especially at five years old. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, so go get the radio. It's over there on the bench. So the starting, yeah, you pu pull it down. That's right. <laughs> I hope it has enough oil in it. Whoa. Wow. What's this? Beep, beep, beep. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's a... Wow. Go ahead. Those are some sticky tires. You can hear them stick into the concrete. Very neat. <laughs> you want to see one of the neatest things I love about this truck? Yeah. Watch. You can turn it on its side. <laughs> squeaky. Squeaky on the styrofoam. So this means as it's moving across the terrain, it can actually move back and forth. That's how it kind of conforms to everything. So upside down, we can see here all metal drive shafts throughout. I want to get in here like I do with any of uh, my models, kind of strip it down, get in, lubricate it properly everywhere. You know, I, I think it's appropriate. Uh, and uh, have a look at a BEC in this model because I know this is going to be pulling a ton of power and uh, the entry level BECs I, or the entry level ESCs I see in this thing, though they're cost effective uh, for this much weight and everything, I'm going to put a little bit more uh, oomph into it with some, uh, probably some crawler, some 1080s from Hobby Wing or something like that. Okay, so I want to show these guys. Hold it up for me so Dad can see that uh, gauge right there. So this is a pressure gauge, and every time I move the truck, you can see that needle kind of opens and closes. Just showing. Looks like an airplane engine on the front, doesn't it? Yeah. Like a, like a jet engine or something like that. That's pretty fun. That's when I hear it. So when I was turning, yeah. it was going like this. That's right. That's what you could hear. That's right. It, that's actually the motor that's turning the pump to move all the fluid now, now around. You can now turn. Yeah, you want to see it now? Can't really see it behind there, can you? Sweet. 
So cool. What an awesome RC. Just unbelievable. Lots of payload capacity in the back. We won't be pouring any out because of the great tail that it has on it. And uh, hopefully very strong hydraulics. It's always good to see uh, when you have a hydraulic gauge right, uh, right near the block so you can see the pressures that you're having. There's my faithful cat in the background, sleeping as always. You guys know that he's not real. He's actually just stuffed, right? Pumpkin stuffed. <laughs> no, he, he isn't. He just sleeps a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, guys. It is the Volvo A40G articulating rock truck. Uh, it must weigh at least 65 pounds on the packing slip. It said 75. Uh, lots of little twerk or, uh, tweaks I would like to see here. Uh, for example, I want to put in a magnet system or some sort of clip for the front uh, also I did hear a little bit of grinding going on and I think it's really just when it's at full articulation I can't tell if it's the drive shaft or if it's just the uh, the pinion is too tight on the motor but being a hobbyist I'm gonna get in there and see what's up but overall a great chassis I think it's a very cool rig what do you think is it a cool rig Yes, it is. yeah fun factor of, uh, of definitely an eight here we're gonna see this out on the YouTube gold uh, mine of course uh, this is what we did with the, with the small profit we had from YouTube Gold. We invested it into a rock truck. Uh, unfortunately, it's still a little bit uh, far away because we have cold weather and snow right now. But we definitely want to incorporate this into the show. So everybody, please welcome the new articulating dump truck because uh, we're going to have lots of fun with this. And we'll see you in the next episode of Aussie Adventures. You know it, buddy. Bump it up. Boom! Can you make it eat like an alligator, please? Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> See you later, alligator. <laughs> In a while, crocodile. <laughs>